Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is my golden doodle, Mickey. He is almost 10 months old. Today I'm going to be talking about four things you should consider before getting a puppy in college. I got Mickey seven or eight months ago. It was in the summer after my sophomore year of college, so halfway through college. Although getting Mickey was the best decision of my life, he is my best friend and raising a puppy is so rewarding. It is still very challenging and there is lots of things you need to consider. So today I'm going to be going over four of the main things that I should have considered more when I got him. The number one thing you should consider is money. Do you have enough money? Especially within the first year, you have to buy the dog, you have to pay for the shots, you have to pay for getting it spayed or neutered. Look at him, he's just falling asleep. You have to buy food every month, you need toys, you need like dog poo bags, like dog bowls, other things like that, collars, leashes. Also, if you need like a dog sitter, if you're going on vacation, it all adds up. And in the beginning, I thought, oh, I have enough money, it's fine. But after the first few months with him, that money slowly started running out. So you need to have either a lot of money saved up or a job with at least a little bit of money incoming. The second thing to consider is you really need to plan accordingly and you are going to have to make major life changes. For example, if you're someone that wakes up five minutes for their class, puts on an outfit, runs out the door, you're not going to be able to do that. You have to wake up earlier, you have to take the dog for a walk, you have to like let the dog go potty, feed the dog, spend a little time with the dog, things like that. You can't come home and rush from one place to another because you have to, you know, spend some time with the dog, take the dog out. The next thing to consider is how your homework and studying time is going to change. This is mostly for if you just have a puppy because puppies obviously want lots of attention. They are still a little bit naughty, but whenever I'm doing my homework, Mickey is, right now he's being well behaved, but He's normally sitting there barking at me every five seconds. I'm running around the house. What are you eating? What are you chewing on? Or where'd you go? So it's going to be a lot harder to do homework and study. Dogs want your attention. They don't understand that you have a test to study for. The next thing to consider is, are you a really big going out person? Do you like to go on spontaneous trips? Stuff like that because there is no more late nights with the puppy. You Honestly, I try not to leave him more than like four hours alone. So say I like go out, you know, I can't stay out till 2 a.m. Like I always, I'm like, I have to get home to my puppy. Like you have someone at home waiting for you and counting on you. You can't go on spontaneous trips. Like I said, pet sitters are expensive. So the very last thing I think you should consider is at that point in your life, do you have anyone to help you? For example, when I first got my dog, I was working a almost full-time job and I wasn't like really friends with my roommates. I didn't really have anyone to help me and I ended up having to quit the job. Luckily now I have my boyfriend who helps me out a lot so whenever I'm like at school for too long and then I have to rush to work he'll be able to come over on his lunch break and help me out. So that is important. Do you have friends, family that's near? But definitely wait until you have at least one or two people that will help you. Also, I want to add my best friends did help me out. I wasn't completely alone. Thank you so much. I hope you were able to learn at least a little something from this video and I helped you in your decision on whether or not you're ready or not for a puppy. But either way, I wish you the best of luck and I hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I will be coming out with new videos weekly of different things about me and Mickey.